Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Joshua. I wanted to talk today about heart rate training or zone training and what the heck that even is. So the first time I ever heard zone training used in any type of terminology, I was like, zone, zone two? What the heck are they talking about running in zone two? So did some more research, found out that they were actually talking about heart rate or zone training. So basically what heart rate training is, is five heart rate zones compared to a percentage of your max heart rate that you can basically train in to become more of an efficient runner based on the exertion you are doing. Zone one is a light, basically walking. Zone two is what I'm doing today. It's a recovery run, so still a light effort. Zone three would be considered like your base. So you can still hold a conversation, but you're definitely putting in more of an effort. Zone four is what I would term race pace. And then zone five is pretty much all out sprints, not really sustainable for more than like a minute or so. So if you're wondering, how do I even track my heart rate on a run? You can pretty much use any fitness watch. I have the Polar Vantage M2, but Apple Watch, Fitbit, Garmin, Polar, Sunto, Koros. Honestly, the options are endless in terms of fitness trackers that have heart rate sensors. You can also wear something like a heart rate strap if you want to, to help fine tune that heart rate tracking even more. Really, you just want a fitness tracker that can actually show what your heart rate is while you're working out. So now the question is, why do I believe heart rate training is so beneficial and why do I believe you should utilize it in your training program or in your running? Basically, I feel that heart rate training is beneficial for every runner because one, heart rate training is unique to you based on your fitness, your age, all the things that go into actually calculating your heart rate and what effort you should be putting for each zone of those five zones. And then I also think it's beneficial because aside from using pace, to determine what types of runs you should be doing, you can look at your heart rate to actually gauge your effort based on the effort your heart's putting into your workout. And so I know that explanation kind of sounds almost like, well, duh, that's heart rate training. You're using your heart rate to guess your training. But the reason I believe that's beneficial is, for example, today I'm on my recovery run. Instead of setting some random pace and saying like, oh, that's my pace for recovery, I can actually base it off of the zones that I want to run in. So for recovery, I primarily want to stay in zone two based on what my heart rate is calculated by my watch. So most of the apps that come with your watch, whether it be Garmin, Polar, Koros, they calculate your heart rate throughout your exercises and then will give you an output of where they believe you should be in each zone based on your fitness, age, weight, all of those things that I kind of talked about earlier. And so now when I look at my recovery run that I'm doing today and I look at focusing on staying in zone two, that's based on me specifically and how my fitness is. Not some random pace that I may or may not be able to hold at a recovery run. And then tomorrow, I'm supposed to do 800 meter sprint intervals. Another prime example, of using my heart rate to gauge how much effort I actually put in with those sprints. The 800 meters will be zone five, which like I said, is that all out effort. Maybe zone four because 800 meters is a, a, lo a long time. But then the recovery is a 400 meter recovery that I'm looking at zone two or zone one. So I want light effort to be able to recover. And like I said, basing my heart rate on the effort is way more indicative of how I'm actually training than some putting some random pace like, oh, I gotta run every 800 meter at five minutes. And the last thing I'll say on why I believe heart rate training is beneficial to incorporate into your workout program or running program is simply the fact that when you set a pace as a recovery base or your all out sprints, whatever you want to, it doesn't really account for the fact of kind of sleep did you have? How did you eat? How are you recovering? Like things that your body may be going through that may affect your overall performance, setting just a, an ancillary pace, some random pace, will never account for that. Focusing on heart rate training instead will. So focusing on staying in a specific zone 
whether it be one, two, three, four, or five, will be strictly based on the fact of how did your body recover from the exercise or workout or run before? And so using that as your base, using heart rate as your base will help you to perform better every single day and see improvements in your running over the long term because you're really responding to how your body performs under different types of loads from zone one all the way to zone five. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful and informational and that you will start incorporating heart rate training into your workout or running program. If you guys like this video, do not forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment letting me know if you already incorporate heart rate training into your workout and how you do it. And as always, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on when I'm uploading my next video. Thanks for watching.